Well, you know what? We just picked this up from uh, it, we picked this up in the Santa Anita area near Pasadena. You can see it right there. It is a Rolls Royce Phantom. So this is not a slouch of a vehicle, and it has been driving extremely recklessly. Wrong side of the road. That actually got to a point where in the Pasadena area where the California Highway Patrol backed off because of the reckless driving in the traffic areas. You can see that is continuing now. We're very, very close to the, excuse me, to, to uh, Dodger Stadium. And uh, you can see this vehicle continuing on. I'm gonna bring up the map for you guys here. Whoa, 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 whoa. And just a second here, and then we can continue on and take a look at what's going on. There you go, he's making his way. He's, now he's again, he's on uh, Sunset, and he's directly underneath us. Excuse everybody, I hope everybody took their drama mean as we do a little pirouette right there. But this vehicle has been continuing running red lights, doing very reckless driving, and then there was some talk that there may be a weapon inside of the car. As far as uh, <clears throat> that, right now we don't know. I know California Highway Patrol has got a helicopter above it, they're trying to get ground units behind it, and I'm sure LAPD is aware of what's going on, and they're gonna get involved here in just a moment. He definitely was on. He was on the 210 for quite a bit, and that's where uh, where our awesome Simon desk got a hold of us and said, "Hey, there's a pursuit. We should go." And he was on the freeways for quite a while, but then got off in the Sierra Madre area and was in the Pasadena area. Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Oh, oh! Look at that! It didn't. No contact. No contact. But that vehicle got really, really close. And this, uh, it, you know, this reckless driving continues out here. Uh, again, you know, I, I brought up a moment or two ago that this uh, vehicle, not a slouch of a vehicle. Uh, you know, it is a Rolls Royce. It is a heavy vehicle, and of course, it has the horsepower to match that type of performance that you know you expect from a car like that. Right now, though, it's driving very, very recklessly. There is no law enforcement behind it. But we're making our way into the downtown area. I'm gonna have to work with my pilot Mike uh, today to uh, keep an eye on it. I haven't seen him pop out between the buildings. This worries me. I do not want to lose that vehicle. Uh, Mike, we're going to have to get more over it. Okay. That's right, and now we're hearing, uh, we're getting information uh, th through the uh, through the airship, meaning the, the law enforcement, that he th they've lost him as well. Went under one of these tunnels down here, so. The law enforcement, that he th they lost him as well. Went under one of these tunnels down here, so we're gonna stay kind of, you know, straight down just for a moment or two. We're gonna listen and see if we can pick this thing back up, but right now, this is one of the reasons why, you know, th there he is, there he is, there he is. He was right there. He was right there. Uh, this is one of the reasons why they always want to keep the uh, law enforcement on the ground behind them as well as in the air above them. Uh, right now, though, I know this area not super well. There he is. There he is right there. And he's going to be southbound and uh, continue, I'm sorry, eastbound, continuing on in the downtown area. Now he's on 4th Street. You can read that right there. But this is a very, very congested area. And this would be another opportunity if LAPD or the uh, law enforcement on the ground had that opportunity. They could maybe get nearby, possibly do some sort of pit maneuver. Even though that is a heavy car, they might be able to do something to bring this to an end. Right now, though, this is a very dangerous situation, a very desperate driver. And, of course, as you said, $500,000 worth of vehicle. Well, you and families Stop and so we're out. kind of un in the swing of things right now people in their Stop routine out. so we're talking about the lunch hour some people take their cars go get lunch in the downtown area and it's very difficult as you I see right there to keep an eye on this stolen vehicle because of the fact that when you're talking about downtown you see those high rises you see the elevation changes in the streets there's some tunnels some some paths where it's very easy to lose visibility as we're seeing right now but clearly Stu is doing a great job as is Mike the 
the pilot there trying to keep a track of this stolen vehicle pursuit, which again, he said, started in Arcadia. This uh, pursuit then made its way along the 210 for quite some time through surface streets of Pasadena. And now, obviously, we've picked it up around Dodger Stadium and into downtown L.A. This is so dangerous because obviously a lot of people not knowing what's happening around them with no alert in place, with no law enforcement following this stolen vehicle right now. So it's very easy to be confused if you're a driver out there to know what's going on. Stu? Uh, you know, I've got uh, the PD ship. I'm looking out the window. I think they're in a completely wrong area. They were The last time we saw them, they were probably on Broadway or Hill going southbound. That was the last place that I saw them in the downtown area. Now, I, I got to work with Mike for just a moment or two here, and I'm sorry about the camera work, but we got to find this vehicle. And right now, I got to find Broadway. So he was somewhere right over here near 5th Street, and that was one of the last places we saw him. We're going to move a little bit south. Mike, move south. Move south, please, Mike. Yes, yeah, you and Mike work together, Stu, right to get uh, yes. situated right there as you're listening to multiple scanners, what Stu does up in Sky Fox along with the pilots. In this case, Matt, Mike, it is very difficult because they are listening to law enforcement scanners. They are scanning the scene below them as well. As you can see, they're trying to fixate that Hello. camera, get that right camera angle to bring you this pursuit, which could be, hopefully not, though, very dangerous when it comes to public safety. And that is why it's so important important that we do show you the situation on the ground when we're dealing with a pursuit like this. You saw how reckless that driver was inside that stolen Rolls-Royce Phantom. We're talking about a car that is worth at least $450,000 and that is why uh, it is very dangerous. It has a lot of horsepower and the driver of that vehicle driving very recklessly as far as we know so far, no collisions to report, but clearly a very scary situation on the ground there. If you do see a vehicle like this, you don't know the situation oftentimes, and uh, clearly this is why we bring these to you. But uh, the work that Sky Fox is doing and Stu is doing to make sure you get that information is very, very difficult, especially when you're talking about a place like downtown L.A., where, as you can see, the high-rises make it very difficult to really get eyes on the ground there even from an aerial standpoint and you can see the cars whizzing by this is coming up on lunchtime when a lot of offices they're back in business right people are in the office now things are coming to a more fall like schedule with families back from vacation students back to school so we may see the lunchtime rush so people pouring out of those buildings soon getting on the streets perhaps going to lunch whether it's walking or driving and then you encounter something like like this. But clearly right now giving Stu and pilot Mike some time to really try to figure out if we can pick up once again on this stolen Rolls-Royce Phantom. This happened starting in Arcadia, traveling through Pasadena, those surface streets. Again, a very scary situation if you're in neighborhoods where this reckless driving can be witnessed. And then the driver taking this stolen vehicle, this phantom Rolls Royce oh, through is. the 210, and then now, of course, making their way to Do uh, Dodger Stadium and then downtown. Nope. There was at one point, Stu, you mentioned that possibly a weapon is yes. involved in this case. That's right, possibly a weapon. And thank you, Sandra, for taking that time and trying to fill, fill everybody in and uh, give us a few moments here. But you know what, I, I'm listening to it, and uh, the helicopter, we actually had it for, a, I'm not, that's not any kind of bragging or anything like that, but we had it for a little bit longer than actually even the California Highway Patrol. We got lucky, I know that area right there, you have those underground, you have that tunnel over there, they shoot a lot of movies there, but, um, it, it, and every time I see a vehicle moving quickly down underneath me, I'm always thinking, is that a Rolls Royce? And I believe that is not. And <laughs> anyways, uh, so we keep looking around down there. We're going to keep an eye on it. But as it stands right now, none of the law enforcement have eyes on that vehicle on the ground. And uh, we're just kind of uh, keeping an eye out. But, you know, it's a, it's a Rolls Royce Phantom, and it, it's probably going to stand out. But at this point right now, we're still just looking for it. If we pick it up, we'll let everybody know for sure. Yes, yeah, sometimes this is the case where even law enforcement officials lose sight of this vehicle and the vehicle that they're pursuing. But clearly, you know, their job isn't easy as, as well. 